Neeraj Chopra clinches gold in 2022 Kuotain Games in Finland. Neeraj Chopra won the gold medal at the ongoing Kuotain Games in Finland on the 18th of June 2022. Chopra took the top spot with a best throw of 86.69 meters. Keishon Walcott finished a close second with a throw of 86.64 meters while Anderson Peters was third with a best attempt of 84.75 meters. On the 14th of June 2022, Chopra also broke his own national record with a throw of 89.30 meters at the Pavo Nurmi Games 2022. National Reading Day, the 19th of June. India celebrates June 19th as the National Reading Day in honor of P. N. Panikkar, the father of the library and literacy movement in Kerala. It was started as a Reading Day celebration on June 19th, 1996, by the government of Kerala in association with the P. N. Panikkar Foundation. On this day, many reading-related activities are organized across the country. India ranks third in renewable energy installations in 2021. India ranked third in renewable energy installations in 2021 after China or Russia according to a report released on the 15th of June or 22. The report titled or Renewable Energy 2022 Global Status Report or was published by REN21 Renewable Energy Policy Network for the 21st Century. India installed 15.4 gigawatts GW of renewable energy projects in 2021. It also ranked 4th in total solar installations. 47th meeting of GST Council to be held on June 28 to 29 in Srinagar. The 47th meeting of the GST Council will be held on June 28 to 29, 2022 in Srinagar. This is the second time that the GST Council meeting is being held in Srinagar. The 47th GST Council meeting is expected to discuss the report of the Panel of State Ministers on Rate Rationalization. The GST Council is chaired by the Union Finance Minister. World Refugee Day, the 20th of June. World Refugee Day is an international day organized every year on the 20th of June by the United Nations. It celebrates the strength and courage of people who have been forced to flee their home country to escape conflict or persecution. The theme for the year 2022 is our right to seek safety or The day was first observed on the 20th of June 2001. Dharmendra Pradhan inaugurates National Yoga Olympiad 2022. Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan on the 18th of June 2022 inaugurated National Yoga Olympiad 2022 and quiz competition in New Delhi. It is being jointly organized by the Ministry of Education and the NCERT from June 18 to 20, 2022. In the Yoga Olympiad Asana, Pranayama, Kriya, Meditation etc. demonstrated by the students. The NCERT started the National Yoga Olympiad in 2016. China becomes the largest importer of Indian broken rice. China emerged as the top buyer of Indian rice during the pandemic, importing 16.34 lakh metric tons LMT of India's total rice export of 212.10 LMT in financial year 2021-22. Out of China's total rice import from India of 16.34 LMT, nearly 97% was broken rice. China is now the top buyer of Indian broken rice, which was earlier exported mostly to African countries. Indian women soldiers participate in Women Peace or Security Seminar. Women soldiers of the Indian Army participated in the four-day or Women Peace and Security or Seminar at Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. The four-day event kicked off on the 16th of June 2022 and is being held under the auspices of Mongolian President Ukhnakhurel Suk. Women soldiers participated in the seminar as a part of Indian Army contingent participating in or ex Khan quest or Aquatus Small Finance Bank launches exclusive savings account for kids.
Aquatus Small Finance Bank Limited on the 19th of June 2022 launched Enjoy an exclusive savings account for kids. It aims to introduce young kids to the financial world and encourage them to develop saving habits early. Enjoy will allow kids of 0 to 18 years to open savings accounts under the supervision of their parents. Minors age 10 or above will also get an option for a personalized debit card. CIET wins UNESCO Award for Use of ICT in School Education. Central Institute of Educational Technology, a unit of NCERT has been awarded the UNESCO's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of ICT, Information and Communication Technology, in education for the year 2021. The prize rewards individuals and organizations that promote the creative use of technologies to enhance overall educational performance. The prize was established in 2005.